How do you push yourself to do the tasks that, are, that you're not good at? For example, I almost failed my English at the time in school, and now I'm a working adult. Anything to do with my writing tasks, I keep on procrastinating, and now I'm behind my work. Well, the reality is the more we push ourselves, the more you'll find that energy even just push, right? The word push sounds pretty exhausting. If you want to know the secret of successful people in life that you maybe look up to, they're being pulled. They're being pulled towards the task that are even hard. And the reason why they're being pulled is, number one, they've got a compelling vision. Human beings are like a bicycle. When you've got a vision that's so compelling, like you just can't stop thinking about it. You're pulled. How many of you remember times in your life when you woke up with a sense of purpose? When you had spring in your step? Right when you have momentum in your life. How many you remember feeling alive? That's when you had a vision in your mind. And it's funny because my gym trainer always says, Tim, I, I literally see my clients procrastinating every, every single year. Right? I'll be honest, they don't really, really show up for themselves a lot. But when any of them like book a wedding and they say to me, like, this is the wedding dress I want to fit into, it's almost like the next day, whole another version of them showing up. And he said, I literally, is like witnessing a miracle. They just show up, they work out in the gym like there's no tomorrow. How many have ever heard stories like that before where people are so compelled by that vision that they've got? So think about this. Human beings, they, they need this vision. That's very compelling, right? It's got to be beyond this uh, English exam thing. It's got to be bigger and greater and sexier, right? This is why week three is pretty important. So that's the first thing. Also, successful people are pulled because of the fact that they've got the right beliefs regarding hard work. You see, most people think about it. When we even think about the word hard work, it doesn't sound too sexy. True, true. So here's a belief shift we got to have, though. If you think about it, you are not actually growing when you're sitting back on the beach sipping margaritas. <laughs> no, when are you growing? You're growing when you're being tested. You're growing when you're facing that resistance, but you step forwards in faith still, and you continue to move, you continue to persevere. When you are on the brink of quitting, when you decide to continue, that's when you're actually growing. So think about this. Strongest trees don't grow in the best soil. They grow in the strongest winds. When the winds of life comes, which it will, often when we're facing these hard tasks where we don't want to do it, right? That's when you're actually being shaped. It's just like what Rumi once said. How do you expect yourself to be polished if you're irritated by every single rub? So the belief I have about hard work nowadays is that is the thing that is actually honoring me. And here's a fact. Studies have shown the very essence of happiness it doesn't come from material possession. True, true. The studies have shown from positive psychology, it doesn't come from you just achieving more. What it actually comes from is you progressing, you growing. Anytime you've actually grown yourself, you, you notice you tend to be the most happiest. Maybe not during the process of growth, but afterwards, how many have ever got through it and you're like, whoa, that feels amazing. Yes, you've got a sense of liberation, so question you got to ask yourself is this, am I making progress right now? Because anytime you're making progress as a human being, that's awakening your potential. Therefore, you're more happy. And best of all, it triggers what's called eustress, EU stress. Studies have looked into why do retirees, how many of you notice how true this really is? Why do retirees, most of them, when they stop doing what they're doing, end up dying younger? not older. And the studies show this because they no longer have a good stress called eustress. They realize that these individuals, they're no longer triggering their body in the right way. Because they're doing nothing to grow themselves, their body doesn't even have a reason to keep going. How many know what I'm talking about? But what they found is these individuals out in Japan, out in Okinawa, where people are living past 100 like there's no tomorrow, like easy, a breeze, they noticed every single one had a vision, number one, and number two, they were always honoring their potential every day. They're waking up, honoring their potential, doing the hard work, doing things that challenges them, triggering the you stress. This is why they were alive. So is this making sense, by the way? So that's the belief shift to consider having in your life as well. 
honor your potential. It keeps you literally alive.